Do you like my YouTube videos? If you do, please leave a comment and actually click on the like button. And if you want, you can hit subscribe. That way you can stay up to date with all my YouTube videos. Hey, and go ahead and click that bell icon to be notified. Thanks. Take care, guys. Hey, 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 Reptile Rescue family members. What are we doing? Well, now that you have titles and thumbnails and, you know, you need to advertise, nothing's a surprise. We got watermelons. They were clearancing these out for a buck each at the grocery store when I went yesterday. Um, personal watermelons, they call them, although they're pretty big. And I thought, why don't we take these, let's chop them up into some rather primal chops and... Give them to some of my lizards. Now, not all of my lizards are going to want to eat these and can eat these, but why is this good? Let's counter that. We'll talk about that. We'll go a lot of stuff going on in watermelons. Now, normally reptiles will love these because they do have a good amount of sugar in them, so they should only be given as a treat, but they have some benefits like potassium and just the water count. And if you don't know potassium is good, it helps regulate your reptile's uh, blood pressure. So if you got a really angry reptile, maybe he needs a little potassium and gets a little blood sugar calmed down. That could be it. And the water content is never a bad thing because that's going to help clean out their kidneys. It's going to help flush through their system. It will be good. But just be warned, most reptiles, not only bearded dragons, but most reptiles will pee out their excess water. That's good. It flushes through their system. But so just be ready if you feed a lot of watermelon you know, no more than once a month, you could have a lot of pee. I'm going to chop this up. Call that a knife. This is a knife. I don't know. This is just my chef's knife. It should go through here. If not, I'm just going to get the chainsaw and take it out, so it'll be fine. I'm going to chop this up. I'm going to do some big wedges because I want to see them try to bite into it, and let's get a lot of good video of that, okay? All right, here we go. Man, that was nothing. I do personally sharpen my knives. Um... But this knife just went right through it so easy. Let's continue. All right, this is what I came up with. These nice primitive wedges. Nothing special, little rind. Um, I like my watermelon cold personally, but you know I was feeding the reptiles right, so these are just room temperature. You know, don't want to feed them something that's too cold, even though this would heat up pretty quickly, but this is for them. We got a lot of wedges. I got a lot more. These are going to go to Tortellini. We'll see him eat through all this. And I got a lot of watermelons. So don't worry. Let's continue. You guys tend to know where a lot of my internet references come from. I don't know if you guys will know where this video comes from. This Let's Continue. But if you do, that'd be great. Um, shout, it out, shout it out in the comments. Otherwise, I'll let it know in a couple videos from now. Ooh. Oh, she sees this. Oh, no. This is going to be a disaster. Hi. Oh, God. Hi, right, Phoenix. It's just a little bit of watermelon. No, just calm down. It's just a little bit of... Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, jeez. Now, yes, be ready for the mess. But I guess... The, can you at least swallow what you have in your mouth before you go for more? My goodness. I mean, I know bearded dragons tend to love watermelon, but... You're, you're biting it still with watermelon in your mouth. At least swallow. We done? No, we're not done. Uh-oh. Okay, yes, ma'am. Look at those bites. It's just crazy. A lot of moisture in that. Oh, yes. Okay. Very good. Very yummy. Very yummy. Want a little bit of this? You want a little bit of this? Oh, yes, you do. Okay. Okay, okay. Good God. Okay, okay. 
All right, you want to start in the middle? That's fine. Why would you eat it normally from the front like normal people do? Might as well just start in the middle. Oh, okay, yep, start in the middle. That's fine. Calm down, please. Just calm down. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, good lord. Sir, that was such a shamble. You like that, Johnny Cage? Yes. That's enough for you? Your bite's out of the middle? Maybe you would eat more if you weren't eating so curled up like this. So, oh, 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 sorry. The nice thing about watermelon, although they love it, although it has that high sugar count, it has a lot of water, like I said, so they do get full from eating it pretty quickly. So, you know, you don't have to worry about it. They're not going to eat too much sugar. Uh, watermelon is another nice thing because of the sugar count. What, are you just licking it now? Yeah. Oh. Oh, God, he's got death grip on it. Oh. Um, it's a nice thing that you can take and you can really smash up the watermelon if your bearded dragon is having trouble starting to eat greens. You can really smash up the watermelon into mush and with the juice, with the liquid and the mushed watermelon, spread it on top of the greens and that should help them start to eat greens. It's another little trick. Mm, it's very yummy. Oh, I thank you guys for putting up with this type of video. I know some of you are here for the educational stuff, to see the rescues, to see any type of surgical procedure, to see maybe this type of lizard or that type of lizard. But the people who stick around for these fun videos and the cuteness, that, that's good. Thanks, guys. Thank you. The first video of the year with Mr. Freeze. He's up from brumation. Remember, at the beginning of last, or the end of last year, he just started going into puberty, so he started to become kind of fussy. And, uh, I gotta do his nails, but that's okay, he's the last dragon. Oh, what's this, buddy? He's never seen watermelon. None of my dragons have seen watermelon. Let's see how he does. You want this? Remember, he's a picky eater. Just rub a little bit on his lips, so he can get the flavor. There he goes. Oh, good God, not that much. Oh. Oh, now the nice thing you guys know, watermelon is just super smooshy. So, you don't have to worry about them eating too big of a... Cut. You don't have to worry about them eating too big of a piece and it, you know, choking them or something. They can mush it down so easily. And you know, let's just pretend you guys didn't see him drop it and wedge it in the wall that I had to go save him. Very yummy. Do I need more? Can I have some more, please? More? No? Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. There we go. A lot of liquid, like I said. And I just love Mr. Freeze. He's so white. Um, you know, he's not he's not a zero dragon, so because he does have a little bit of tan in him, but he is so white. It's so nice. No, nope, that's it. Okay. This is Zoom Ed Cage. We have to lift up on the top to be able to close it. I mean. Number one, my butt. Mango. Champion Mango. What's this? What's this? What's this? There's something in the air. No. Are you gonna want this fat so? I'm gonna guess yes. Oh, oh gosh. The answer was yes. Oh, okay, okay, Mongo. No, you're not gonna mount this though. You're just gonna eat this. Uh, yeah, we're not we're not gonna mount this at all. It's very yummy, isn't it? Yes. I'm just gonna leave this here. And I'm gonna go get some paper towel to clean up the mess that you make, and you're just gonna eat this, and we're gonna see what happens when I come back. Wait a second, where's the watermelon? What happened? Oh, cut! I mean, for God's sakes, man. I can't just leave it here for two seconds with you. Just everything, anything you can mount. Want any more? No? Okay, good. There's his pinup. That's Jack. All right, on to Archimedes. Hi, Archie. Ready for some melon? 
some melon of water. Oh boy. Oh, good, good lord. Okay, I guess you are. Alright, that's fine. Hmm. More goodies. She's like, just like an animal. Look at this. Look at this up close footage. The wild central bearded dragon eating the watermelon without a care in the world, absorbing all of its nutrients. Oh, and then it is done. Okay. Let's go to some bigger lizards and see what they do. Okay. Let's see if Sweet Tooth, my black and white, Tegu will eat any of this. Look what I got. Now, some of you guys may be wondering, why are you going to feed this to a meat eater? Actually, tegus in the wild will eat anything, uh, but mostly they they like to focus on eggs and veggies and fruit. They'll eat the occasional meat, but when you see really big, obese tegus that are dying well before they're supposed to die, almost always fatty liver disease, and almost always because they're only fed meat. Well, and instead of eating it, she has decided to lick it to death. Uh, but that's her choice. She's not a watermelon fan. That's fine. Too much potassium for you? Yeah, that's fine. She did lick it to death. Look at all those tongue puncture marks. Good job. Don't worry. I have not forgotten Tortellini, even though we left that room. We'll be back. Okay, Smog. Are you ready for this? I gotta be careful here. I don't want to get absolutely just destroyed and poisoned when Smog tries to eat this. He's never been interacted with watermelon. He has had fruit and veggies. I think I've showed it in videos before. Oh, there he goes. Okay. I'm gonna have to break this in your mouth because I don't want you to eat this rind. Can you can you eat this on the camera, Smog? Smog, you don't have to take that over there. Smog, you don't have to take that over there though. You should just swallow that whole, oh, Smog, oh, God. Smog, you don't have to, no, no, it's not alive. Smog, it, it, no, it's it's not a living thing. No, Smog, you don't, you, wait, listen to me. You don't, you, you don't have to do that. Yeah, just, no, no, you don't, I, I had it in your mouth. You could have just eaten it. You don't have to shake it. No, it's not, oh, oh, Lord. Oh, my God, all that watermelon juice. Oh, okay. Uh, why didn't we just do that in the beginning? Why did we need to do all that? Uh, and look, now he looks like all proud, like he ate it. Wow, congratulations, thanks. You want, you want more? You wanna make more of a mess? No, don't sit there and lick up that, please. Sir, oh, caught. Yeah, well, come over here if you want more. And just bite it and just eat it. You don't need to lick it, it's the thing you last were eating. Yeah, there we go, so you just bite it and eat it. Yeah, take it down. There you go, you want more? There you go. There we go. So, so, he's so proud of himself. Yeah. Oh, God, it's getting juice everywhere all over me. Got any more? Could you, you take the smallest bites? You're the biggest lizard I got. You take the smallest bites I've ever seen. This thing's leaking juice everywhere. And you, and you take the world's smallest bites. I mean, can you do something bigger? Oh, marginally bigger. Now it looks like you got lipstick on, for God's sakes. You made a huge mess. Your wife isn't even out to see you eat like this. There you go. All right. That's fine. You want any more? You do? Real good. Yeah, fruit is good for them, guys. Fruit's good for, for all monitors. Um, they'll eat. They'll eat. They know what they can eat. Oh, and you spit that right out into the dirt, too. Thanks. What is this now? Now you're just spitting stuff out? Well, ooh, we're gonna get rid of this. Well, you're done. Now I gotta clean up your platform. Amazing. Simba! Time to wake up! Good morning. Good morning. I have food for you. What is this? It's food. Yes, come on. Let's come up top. Come on, let's come up top. Come on. Good boy. 
Come on. Come eat this food. Come eat this food. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're gonna eat that big of a piece. Oh, what? Simba, can you? Oh, not the rind. Um, eat that piece. What about that piece right there? Yeah, right there. Yes. Okay, you almost picked it up. It's like the T-Rex problem. No, no, there you go. Yes! I knew I could rely on you. I knew if there was one lizard to eat this correctly, I could rely on you. What? What are you gonna do with it? You're just gonna eat it? See, but it's all in your... Oh, God. Listen, but... Uh, oh, remember, oh, good lord, right after I told them on how you eat this correctly, I just, I mean, I just got done telling them that, I literally just told, oh, can I, can I have the, oh, no, oh man. You gonna, you gonna do anything with that? You're gonna, yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. There we, no. Just gonna leave that there then. Just want me to clean all that up. Just clean up everything. It's fine. It's fine, everything's fine. I'll just clean up everything, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just because Simba's so cute, he thinks he can get away with whatever he wants to get away with. But that's not necessarily true, but don't worry. We have Old Faithful to take care of this. The human garbage disposal himself, but he's not human. The one, the only, Tortellini. That's right. Let's just clean off his little cement platform here. All right, nice and clean. Then we're gonna—I'm gonna put the watermelon scraps on, and he's gonna go to town. Uh, it's important to put it on a hard surface like this. That way, he grinds his beak down. So all these, you know, half-eaten pieces, he can have at them. There you go. There you go, buddy. There you go. You hungry? You want something to eat? Of course, I talked about grinding his beak down, and what does he do? He picks up the one that's stacked on the top one. Doesn't even reach the cement at all. Thanks. Very, a lot of crunching. Oh, back end first. Okay, some people go that way. Personally, I don't like the rind. That's just me. All right, we're just gonna leave him, guys. We're gonna let him eat this up. He'll he'll eat this whole thing up. They're just, they're just the scraps, so it's not too much for him or anything. He'll eat this whole thing up, and then he will pee a lot too. So that will be fun. Luckily, though, he likes to pee on this lid, um, and then it catches the pee, and then I just dump it and wash it. Remember, I talked about grinding your beak. That's why I put it on here, not for you to bring it back there. Ah, guys, just no one works with me here. Take care. Take care. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Love you all. Thank you guys for supporting my reptile rescue family.